Yo, Rev Rob, Biblical Basketball. You see the game is about to start, and basketball is a physical game. A lot of wrestling going on, pushing. Guys been lifting weights, so, you know, it's it's going to get physical down there. You're going to have some bruises. Someone might try to punch you. Look at Rondo, man. And then Rajah Belt and grab Kobe, trying to throw him to the ground. Basketball is a physical sport. But in order to win the game, you have to be more than just a physical specimen who's just a better wrestler and fighter. You have to have strategy. You have to have good communication skills, a good attitude with your teammates, high-fiving them. Um, there's spiritual elements, I believe, to it. Like, what is the attitude and spirit of the team? What's the energy the team's given? So basketball is a game in which there is a battle that's just not flesh and blood, but there's a battle amongst things that we can't see like strategy, like the spirit of the team, like your energy, et cetera, et cetera. Scripture says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. In basketball and in life, you're not going to win all your battles because you're stronger, more skilled, uh, and you're able to wrestle better than the next person. It's going to be because of your philosophy sometimes, your mind state, your energy, your, the spirit within you, and your ability be, to be connected with God. And that's easy to do through prayer and reading scripture. But it's not always going to be you overcoming because you physically could beat them. For more biblical basketball content, please follow Biblical Basketball on Instagram.